This isn't the voice that you're expecting, is it? Well, neither well, well neither did I expect it. But we're gonna be comparing the um, Spas 12 and the Saga 12. Why is my why is it doing that? So I haven't I played with the Spas uh, quite a lot, as you can see, 412 kills, uh, but not really the Saga because I just kind of despise it. I haven't really tried it. I'm not really kind of good at it, but shot it's shotguns i wish i had a laser in this so that it could be easier to aim but it's okay so here is the reload for you guys and that's one of the reasons why i hate this goddamn thing look at that hit markers and no kill great not only is the reload so unbelievably stupid but the damage is the lowest in its class, well not really because it's a shotgun. But it has terrible spread and all that it's going for is that it is semi-auto and it's the fastest shooting gun in its class. Yeah, th that's how many bullets I had to take onto that guy. As I say this, as I'm tearing everybody to shreds. Yeah, but yeah, um, I... Don't really like this gun. So let's take a look at the damage. So 17... 27 to 17. Pretty bad for a shotgun, actually, but not too mad. F rate of fire is 350, which is actually kind of bad, because you're not going to be... You're not going to be firing at this rate of fire, and... The fact that it has a slow reload with that kind of rate of fire is bad. It's not that spray and pray gun, which I like to call PDWs. But yeah, you have to be conserving ammo to use this at its full potential. I don't really know why people think this is better than the Spas 12. Like, this is just my opinion, but I just feel like it's just kind of inferior. Again, when I say it's inferior, it starts shredding. Why is this my life now? I know you're in there. I'm just gonna leave him be. See, see, I almost the entire magazine, and no, and not even a single, not even, well, I guess assist, but not even a kill. You see why I despise this gun? It's just garbage. Again, it's just my opinion. Finally, I got a laser. I guess vanilla, if you know how to use your shotgun and you know how to conserve your ammo, I guess it's pretty good. Ouch. I really need to stop talking. But, if you know how to use this gun, like, if you're kind of a god at it, then you, ha then you can disagree with me. You don't have to agree with me on this, this is just my opinion. This is just, I guess, some advice that you just have to listen to. I don't know. I don't know why I'm tearing with this thing, Jesus. I'm going 16 and 6, why is this serving me good all of a sudden? Like 74 studs, man. Even when I said this thing has loose spread. What's going on today? Oh, I saw someone there. Is he still there? No. That guy's literally blind. Jesus, stop going off! I see people. J Bruh. 74 studs again. Stop going off. 122 studs. Okay, so maybe this thing's sort of a sniper, but I like this pass a bit better just because. So, what would I rate this gun if this was in a shotgun? 
what would I rate this gun if I were making a shotgun tier list? Sadly, I'm gonna have to rate this at an F tier. I just... It's really fun to use. Like, maybe because I'm popping off with this thing, I don't know. It's really fun to use, but uh, statistically, it's the worst shotgun. It has bad spread, the lowest base damage in its class, a terrible reload, and high recoil. The only thing this thing's going for is very fast fire rate. Which a shotgun doesn't really need because you're not gonna be spraying and praying. But this is the Saiga 12. The round's about to end. And... Yeah, it's pretty fun. Oh, there's a hacker. How lovely. Alright, I'm gonna kick the hacker. So this is the Spass 12. Um, I really 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 admire this gun let's capture the flag though that's pretty shit so this gun is like the definition of perfection it has all the needs for a shotgun it has tight spread good damage good fire rate and i guess it's semi but i don't really know if i don't really know if that's a need for a shotgun but I guess it kinda is, but it's my opinion. I already explained myself in the Spass review, I hope you guys watched that, and I really wish you did. I already explained myself in that video, this is probably one of the worst maps to try out a shotgun, but I didn't pick it, I, didn't, I, I promise I didn't pick it. Alright, we're back. The Spass 12, I love this gun, and I'm getting shot at. It's so far my favorite shotgun, well, if you don't count the AA-12, but I still think the AA-12 is pretty crappy if I say so myself. But this is my favorite shotgun so far. It's cool. It's everything that I need for a shotgun. You see that? Range. Freaking 118 studs. What the heck is- There's so many people! There's one. Oh, that was a lag spike. Jesus. So if you're asking why I'm not talking that much, it's because I don't have anything to say about it. I already have a fast review and... Yeah, just watch that if you want to see me give a full explanation of this. Oh yeah, by the way, with that montage and this fast review, I actually forgot some clips in the video, so um, please forgive me. I, I was I'm, I just have a stupid brain. GG. My KDR is not that bad actually. I mean, I do really good with these guns when I'm not recording. But when I am recording, I just, I, I guess I do pretty decent with them. But I swear to god that if you get this gun, or at least if you pre-buy it, you're gonna have a fun time. I guess the skill requirement is a bit of an issue, but it's not too bad if you know how to use the KS23M already. But if I were to rate this gun, if I were to rate this gun in a tier list of shotguns, it would probably be... A solid S tier. So what do I think is the winner? Is it the Saiga 12 which everybody loves for some reason? Or is it the Spass 12 which everybody thinks got nerfed to the ground? Not including me though. You know you know the answer. It's obviously the Spass 12. I don't really have much to say about it. It's just a good gun. I mean it's fun to use the Saiga 12 once in a while but... I feel like you're gonna do better with the Spass 12. Even if the fire rate is the lowest in its class, I feel like it's just enough to kill someone. Unlike this, it's no. Also, setups. I also forgot. I don't really have a setup for this, just use whatever the hell you want. For this, th this is the setup. Y this is the only setup that I have. You can use whatever, just put blue lasers. 
don't put a suppressor and don't put a sight because I honestly think a sight on this pass is kind of shit. And don't put flechette because of a glitch I said in the previous episode. So yeah, this is my video. This is my video on these two shotguns. I think they're very decent. Actually, no, not decent. They're pretty good. Good for a shotgun, but honestly, one of them is just awful. Statistically. Oh, cringe fast buyer. Oh, what am I? Don't mind it, guys.